Hey guys, what is going on? So um, I just got back from a thrift store here in my local area. Uh, picked up uh, a, a lot of VHS tapes. Uh, got really some good, good, uh, I found some good uh, movies, some good tapes. Uh, very good condition. Um, I always look for the ones that are in really good condition. Uh, that the box, the cover is really in pretty like really good to excellent condition. If it's tore up and if it has like stickers on it or writing, I try to stay away from it. Unless it's a movie that I really, really want, then I'll pick it up. But if it's just an average movie that I can find another copy of, um, I definitely stick with covers and boxes uh, that are in good condition. So the first one we have here is the Lawrence of Arabia. This movie back in the day, as you can see here, I uh, won, it was a winner of seven Academy Awards. Uh, it's with Anthony Quinn, um, and it's from 1962. And it's one of those films, uh, it's a very long film. It actually comes with the two cassette tapes, or two, uh, not cassette tapes, but two videotapes, two VHS tapes. And there's the back over here. Anthony Quinn, by the way, he was a big actor back in the day, guys. He was a major, major actor. He was in a lot of, a lot of movies. Um, so that's Lawrence of Arabia. That's number one. And then I love Charles Bronson, uh, his movies. I'm a, a huge fan of his. Uh, so here is num uh, the other next one is Bronson Assassination. They were reluctant running mates in a race for their lives. So again, Charles Bronson for action, can't go wrong. Um, I wanna say maybe like the 80s or 70s for this movie. Uh, I never heard of it, um, but uh, never seen it. Charles Bronson, uh, Jill Ireland, Stephen Elliott, uh, Randy Brooks, William Prince. So there's that one. And then we have the Three Stooges comedy. You know, I didn't know that the St Three Stooges were from back in the 30s. I thought it was like the 40s, maybe the 50s, but no, they're from back in the 30s. Um, so this is a Three Stooges. I think it has three episodes on it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So Uncivil Warriors, uh, Three Missing Links, 1938, and then Microphonies, 1945. Yeah. So Three Stooges, it's entertaining. It's entertainment. Uh, it's entertaining. Um, pretty funny guys back in the day. I remember when I was a little kid, their uh, show used to have, uh, we used to watch a lot of reruns from the Three Stooges. So pretty cool. And also, I picked up this one. I've never seen it. Um, the Apartment Complex. Never, never seen this film. Um, it's from the director of the Tex Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the Poltergeist. So, eh, we'll, we'll check it out. It seems like it's going to be a one of those scary movies, a horror movie. Um, Tyra Banks is in it. Uh, Ailey Ermey, the guy that always played like a soldier. Um, and one, one reason I liked it too is also, I'm a huge fan of Paramount films, uh, Paramount Studios. Um, so usually anything with Paramount is pretty good uh, quality. It's pretty good uh, movies. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Paramount. If I could have a complete collection of Paramount movies, I probably would. Um, so I love Paramount uh, movies. Um, so there's the back of it. We'll check it out. And then continuing over here, Wesley Snipes, Passenger 57. Classic action movie back in the day. Wesley Snipes again, he was big. I think I may already have this movie. Um, I have to look in my, in my library of uh, VHS tapes, um, but I believe I may have it. If I do, that's no big deal. I'll just go back to my local library and donate it or to a thrift store and donate it. Um, so this is Wesley Snipes. Here's the back. And as you can see, guys, with these uh, covers, with these boxes here, they're in very, very good condition. Again, I stick to, I try to stick to very good condition on my uh, VHS tapes. And over here, we got Sally Field, Paul Newman. Um, I want to say maybe 70s for this movie, but I've never seen it. It's about, I guess, the media and how media controls politics, something like that, what I read in the back. Uh, Paul Newman, uh, Sally Field, so... 
gotta check it out. This is probably one of Paul Newman's uh, last films that he made. Uh, let's see who directed by Sidney Pollock. So, Columbia Pictures. There it is. And then we have Harrison Ford. Again, another action movie uh, based on the Cold War, Russia, the Soviet Union versus the U.S. Uh, Harrison Ford and Liam Neeson. Um, K-19, The Widowmaker. So, so, I guess it's similar to, um, you know, what is it? Crimson Tide and... Um, there was another one, The Hunt for Red October. It's kind of like those type of movies, I want to say. Um, but again, Paramount, also very, very uh, a Paramount film here. So this is K-19. I want to say directed by, I can't see. <laughs> my ears aren't that good. Um, and then this one caught my attention because of Ernest Borgnine, isn't it? He's the guy from, uh, he was an Airwolf. This is him right here, and then he was he played a, he played in many movies. He was a actor from back in the like the fifties, the sixties. He was also in Escape from New York. He was Cappy, um, and then he of course, of course he played in Airwolf, um, the TV show from back in the I believe the early eighties for Airwolf. And then he also was in a movie, a movie back in from the fifties. Um, oh, what is it called? From Here to Eternity, with um, oh, what, Burt Lancaster. And Frank Sinatra was in it too. So uh, Ernest Bor Borgnine is this guy right here. So it's a wild, the wild bunch. So we'll see um, William Holden, Ernest Bor Borgnine, Robert Ryan, Warren Oates, Ben Johnson, Jaime Sanchez. So I gotta check it out. I wanna say maybe the 60s or 70s for this one. I wanna say I lean more towards the 60s. Because Ernest looks pretty, uh, he still looks pretty young in, in this film. So, <laughs> um, next one, also uh, good, looks like a really, really good cast here. Um, Anthony Quinn again. Um, and then Gregory Peck, who was also huge back in those days, back in the 50s, 60s, 70s. Um, we have uh, Gregory Peck, David Niven, uh, Anthony, Anthony Quinn. Um, so the guns of Navarrete, Navarrete. I probably messed that one up. <laughs> so looks kind of like a, I'm. I'm not sure. I got. I haven't even read the back, but never seen this film. But definitely it looks cool. Looks like I want to definitely watch it. And again with Gregory Peck, Anthony Quinn, you really can't go wrong. So one, two of my favorite actors. Um, so they're gonna check that one out. And then this is our last one I picked up. Uh, again, here, look at the box, guys. Very, very good condition. Um, Midway, the glory, the suspense, the spectacular drama of the men who won the most decisive naval battle battle in our history. Midway. I want to say, who is this? Um, Henry Fonda, uh, Charlton Heston, Glenn Ford, Hal Holbrook, Robert Mitchum. So again, huge names, um, directed by Jack Smith. Um, so yeah, again, and look at the box, guys. Very, very good condition. Excellent, excellent. Not, I mean, there's a few dings here, but nothing big. Um, again, I try to stick with very, very good quality for my, for my VHS tapes. And of course, I check them as well before I buy them. Make sure they're in good condition and working order. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed my video on my vhs tapes and adding these uh, films to my collection um thank you for watching guys and uh you guys have a good one take care signing off